everybody, this is Eli, and today we're going to be making the useless box. This is part one of two, and we're making the elect electrical part. Let's get started. So the tools that you'll need, this is optional, but you can use some helping hands. They're really helpful. I'll definitely recommend them if you're going to be doing anything electronical. You're going to need a soldering iron. You're going to want to use a hot glue gun. You're going to need wire strippers or pliers. These, these can strip wire, so that's why I'm using them. If you don't have wire strippers, you could use an X-Acto knife to cut the, uh, the plastic coating off the wire. You're going to need a fume extractor. This is optional. It just will uh, prevent the fumes from getting into your lungs. And that's all the tools. Then for the parts and electronics, you, you're, I'm gonna, I used an 18650 3.7 volt uh, lithium ion battery. And then you're gonna want a balance charger if you use a lithium ion battery. So I just use this little micro USB charger. Then you're gonna, this is very, you're gonna have to have this. This is a six pin switch. I'll put a link in the description of everything. Then you're going to want to use a stepper motor. I got this out of a little toy. You could use a servo, but you're going to have to make, modify it so it will spin continuously. Then you're going to need a popsicle stick. And I use a popsicle stick for this little momentary switch. You'll see later in the video how I glued it on. Or you can buy a momentary switch with already that has a piece of metal over the button. But I, since I just had this, I had to modify it. Then you're going to want some 22 gauge wire. You're going to want about eight pieces that are six inches long and you want both sides stripped. Then you're gonna want some solder and uh, heat shrink tubing is optional. You don't have to use it. You could use electrical tape or you could use hot glue, which that's what I used. And here is the diagram of electronics. So if you look at the six pin switch, pin one and two is gonna have the battery. Pin three and four is gonna have the motor connected to it. Then pin Two and pin five is gonna have the rocker switch in between it, then pin one and six are gonna have a loop. So you can see closer right now. This is what the diagram is. You can pause your screen right now if you wanna look, and pin one and six have just a loop. So just a one wire without anything in it. It's really simple. And then uh, I just started off by uh, soldering two wires onto the positive and negative terminals of the motor and I soldered those two wires to pins three and four on the six pin switch so the wires of the motor go right in between all the pins on the two ones in between as you can see close up right on the right hand screen you can see the two wires of the motors then I used the balance charger. I connected the battery onto the balance charger and then started soldering two other wires onto the battery for my power. And this balance charger just uh, charges the battery and it has a red LED when it's charging and then blue whenever it's done charging. I'll put a link in the description for it. Then you're gonna wanna solder the battery connections to pins one and two. And now you can see those are the ones on one and two. And basically right now it's a simple circuit and whenever you turn on the switch, the motor turns. Whenever you turn it off, the motor stops. So next you're gonna wanna solder a pigtail from pin one and pin six. So basically it's just a loop. It doesn't even do anything. It just connects pin one and six together. So it's a closed circuit right there. Then you're gonna wanna solder a wire from pin two to the one terminal of the momentary switch and then another wire from the other terminal of the momentary switch to pin five. So basically it's connecting the pins two and five but a switch in between. Now the whole thing is complete. And if the next part of the video where I'm talking, if it's a little bit confusing, it's okay because part two of this whole series will be a lot easier to understand because I'll have the whole entire thing together and the whole thing will be working.
with your finger. It'll let go of the momentary switch. The motor will spin one way. It'll come hit the switch. It'll spin the other way, come down, and then hit the momentary switch and stop the whole process. So if you keep on doing it, it'll just turn it on. Momentary will come off. Motor will spin. You, they'll turn off the switch, come the other way, come back home, press the momentary switch, and the whole thing stops. So that is how it will work. Let me try to turn this thing off. That is how the whole entire system is gonna work. Um, this just runs off of micro USB. You can charge the battery. It has some LEDs. I'll put everything I have here in the link in the description. And also, if you want to, you could have put some heat shrink tubing all around um, these wire connections and everything. So it um, won't short out and will be nicer. So you could do that. And also, I want to say I use this um, momentary switch from like a microwave. So what I'm going to do to make it longer, I'm going to put a little dab of hot glue right here. I'm going to put a little popsicle stick right there and just let it sit there and when it dries you'll be able it'll be able to push on the very edge so that's just a little modification you can make if this is from a, a switch from a microwave i just got it because i took a part of microwave so um thank you guys for watching um this was part one for the electronics next part i will be making the box see you on the next video